I am Mrs. Knight. Mrs. Elizabeth Knight. Elizabeth is fine. I hate surnames. They make things too formal. I'm Chloe, your manicurist. Is this your first nail treatment? Oh no, of course it isn't. Unfortunately, most people don't understand how having healthy, beautiful hands can make a difference. Every day I see women wearing fashionable clothes, a lot of makeup and expensive fragrances, and yet they don't take care of their hands. It's such a shame. I can understand perfectly. Let's get down to work. I'll light these scented candles. Atmosphere, first of all. Mm -hmm. Would you like something to drink before we start? Mm. I do recommend our organic herbal tea. Oh yes, thank you very much. I'm sure you'll like it. It's great for the skin and the nails. Give me your hand, please. A hand reveals a lot about someone's personality. Did you know that? No, not really. Okay, let's see. Mm, you eat a lot of cakes and you don't eat much fruit. You're very active and you take care of yourself. You don't have many bad habits, but you bite your nails, from which I deduce that you're quite stressed. How true. First, we clean your hands and scrub them carefully from thumb to little finger. We dry your nails and file them. Then I will apply a base coat and then a quick drying nail polish. We use only natural high quality products and if you use them on a regular basis, in a very short time, your hands will look soft and smooth as never before. Your fiancé is a very lucky man. Yes, I suppose so. This way, Mrs. Knight. Ready for a regenerating beauty treatment? Yes, I'm coming. Is something wrong? No. Yes, there's something very wrong. May I ask what the problem is? First, the towel you gave me is rough. The one you gave me last time was much softer. I am sorry to hear that. Plus, these bath slippers are very uncomfortable. I see. Lastly, this bathrobe is too small. You see? Is that all? No, it's not all. Every time I come here, I have to wait for ages. Mrs. Knight, if you want to avoid waiting, you would simply have to make an appointment. You have our telephone number, don't you? Yes, I do. Instead of a pair of flip-flops that are not suited to your feet, ask for standard bath slippers. With a small additional payment, you can get cotton or linen towels that are much softer than these. Okay. And as for the bathrobe, you just have to tell us what your real size is. I've changed my mind. The bathrobe fits perfectly. I'll be happy to tell you about our facilities. Good. Do you already work out? Not much. I'm very busy. And I'm afraid I am out of shape. Don't worry. You'll be in shape in a few weeks. In our fitness centre, we have a dedicated weight area. A personal trainer is always on hand to give you advice about weights and fitness equipment. What fitness classes do you run? We have an aerobics studio where you can attend many kinds of classes. Aerobics, martial arts, kickboxing, yoga and so on. What about the Paradise Wellness? In the Paradise Wellness there is our relaxing area with sauna, hot tub and arctic and tropical showers. Mmm, wonderful. And what changing facilities do you have? We have changing rooms with showers and private lockers. Mmm, good. You look very fit. Um, I go to the disco every Saturday. That keeps me fit. Well, that's very interesting. Could we talk about it later on? Later on? I think we can begin with our core fitness class that starts right now. Later on, if you still have sufficient strength left, we can talk about it then, okay? Okay. Ow! Ow! Be careful! 
careful. I am careful. Elizabeth, you are my only customer who complains during a hand treatment. I am the only customer with delicate, sensitive skin. Ow! Indeed, you have beautiful skin. So I am told. Okay, now we have to leave your left hand in warm water for a while. Would you like a magazine to look at? Sure, thank you. Hmm, that's interesting. What? There's an article on diets. The perfect diet. Weight loss guaranteed. What does it say? The cabbage soup diet. The cabbage soup diet? Yes. Eat cabbage soup and you can lose three kilos in only a week. And if you avoid all fats and sugars, you can lose up to six kilos in the second week. <laughs> I don't think diets work. Why is that? Well, I have breakfast, lunch and dinner every day and I eat almost as much as I want and I don't gain weight. You are indeed quite thin. How is that possible? First, I eat a balanced diet. I go to the disco every Saturday. I do the housework twice a week. Finally, instead of taking the tube, I walk home from work every day. Well, I don't know if that works for everybody. Diets are just a fad, a fashion. But after all, as I said, I am certainly not overweight. Overweight? Neither am I. So, Rose, what seems to be the problem? Well, I work at the customer service for warm and happy heating systems. It's a good job, but um, it's embarrassing. Imagine I'm your boss. What's his name? Mr. Gradgrind. Okay, so I'm Mr. Gradgrind. Rose? I feel there is something you want to tell me. Well, I have a problem with my colleague, Matthew Peacock. Matthew Peacock? <laughs> I'm all ears. Matthew is always late, plays at the computer all the time, and is not at all interested in our customers' problems. I can see that you feel strongly about this. Yes, I do. And because of this, I have to work until late, and I am sick of the situation. I think this is a serious concern. Yes, it is. How about asking to hold a meeting to discuss the problem? That's a good idea. I am not going through a good period at present. My husband wants a divorce, and I am... Come on, Rose. It's okay. I'll take care of everything. Thank you, Mr. Grant. Grant. Mr. Fraser. <laughs> So, Rose, how are you? Not well. I have a serious problem. Please, tell me. What exactly is your problem? The situation at my workplace is unbearable. Why is that? I don't know why, but everybody hates me. Come on, Rose, you are exaggerating. No, I'm not. My colleagues hate me. The secretary hates me. The accountant hates me. The cleaning lady hates me. And do you know who hates me the most? No. Mr. Gradgrind. Oh, Mr. Gradgrind, your boss. You should see what dirty looks he gives me. Sometimes I think he would like to kill me. I understand, Rose. The problem is probably not as serious as you think. You could try being more flexible. That can be useful, but not with them. You could listen to them more carefully. Maybe there is just a misunderstanding. The problem is that they don't even talk to me. You could do something nice. 
I don't know. Buy flowers for the secretary and the cleaning lady. A bottle of wine for your colleagues. That might be a good idea, but I'm not keen on doing such things. You could invite them to your place for dinner sometime. No way. I'd rather find another job. I'm afraid that this attitude won't help you to solve your problem. Why do you think so? So, what can I get you? I'll have a cup of hot milk with honey, please. Okay. I know. You probably think it's strange that I'm having hot milk at this time. I would normally order a glass of wine or a vodka tonic, but I'm expecting、um... a baby. Yes. You're pregnant. How wonderful! Congratulations. Yes, thank you. I'm very happy too. This pregnancy is sorting out a few things in my life. I mean, well, good. For a start, as soon as my husband found out that I was pregnant, he changed his mind about the divorce. Oh. Then I can take a maternity leave, which means at least six months of work. Everyone hates me at the office anyway, so it'll be good to take a break for a bit. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be. Mr. Gradgrind, my boss, would finally realize how valuable I am and how much work I actually do in there. Matthew Pickock, my rival colleague, had better start pulling his weight. Well, I'm sure. And、What's... then there are all the things the baby will need: the coat, the clothes, the toys. It's expensive to raise a family. Yes, I can imagine. When I was a child, my parents were very strict. I had a great childhood. I don't mean to complain or anything, but I grew up in a rigid household.、Oh, I guess I was lucky. I had a lot of freedom, especially as a teenager.、Hmm. I didn't. My father was so strict and disciplinary. Once, I was playing with my dog Marnie, and she barked and woke up my dad. He was so angry that the next day he gave her away. <gasps> Poor Marnie. How sad. Oh, there's my husband, Stuart. Stuart. I'll get you that hot milk.、Mm. What's the matter, Lucy?、Oh, I don't know. I went to the gym, and now I feel awful. How long did you stay there?、Uh, an hour, maybe two. Two hours? Don't you think that's too much? It was your first time, right? Yeah, yes, it was. Let me have a look. Ow, ow! Where does it hurt? Ah, here. Yeah, here. Oh, even here. Ah, it feels sore all over. Can you lift your arm? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Your ankle is swollen. Oh my God! I'm about to die. Oh, it's nothing so serious. Uh, however, you can have an X-ray、mm. and also a checkup. Yeah, that's probably a, probably a good idea. I can make you an appointment with a doctor, Doctor Peabody. Doctor Peabody. Yes, Miles is one of my oldest friends and also a very capable doctor. Fine. Ah, Dad, it's so painful. Oh, stop all that complaining, Lucy. I'm sure if we go home and I make something nice to eat. You'll forget all your pains. Something nice to eat? What do you mean? How about a well-done steak and chips? Oh, that sounds great! Absolutely wonderful. So. So. Ready for our coffee, or do you prefer I come back after the gym? You went to the gym yesterday, didn't you? Sure, I go every day. Every day? Yes, it's great. 
the gym has state-of-the-art equipment, space-age machines, which give you a total body workout in less time. Uh-huh. When you start, you get a wellness key, which you plug into the machines that you use. A key? Yes, it keeps track of what you do, the calories burned and the heart rate. I see. These machines make exercising interesting and fun. For instance, they have a treadmill, which has integrated satellite TV and radio, which makes your training more entertaining. Yeah, sounds great. Have a look at my biceps. I think the basic concepts are the same. Lose weight, gain strength, keep healthy, right? Yes, but the modern equipment allows you to achieve the same results in a shorter period of time. I don't particularly like all this high-tech stuff. I still prefer natural activities like jogging. Uh. There is nothing as enjoyable as jogging outside on a sunny day, maybe listening to some good music. With your iPod plugged in, right? Yes. Uh, you see, you rely on modern technologies too. It's surprising I got here on time. What's the matter? Apart from a splitting headache, I have an irregular heartbeat and I'm anemic. I see. I also have a hiatus hernia and a backache. What does your GP say about this? He prescribed me sedatives and says I will recover soon. If you don't mind, I'd like to know something about your lifestyle. There's not much to say. I work as a dressmaker for a well-known clothing shop. I stay home all day long, mostly on my own. What can you tell me about your daily routine? My life is very boring. Every day is the same as the one before. I understand. I'd like to give you some homework for our next visit. Some homework? Yes. I'd like to ask you to take pictures of your daily activities with your mobile phone. I'm afraid I don't know how to do that. Oh, come on, it's very easy. Even my elderly mother can take pictures with a mobile phone. I'll show you. First, search for the camera icon in the menu. Frame the picture and press. How are you today, Felicity? As usual, Dr. Fraser. I spend most of my time at home working, which doesn't put me in a very good mood. Oh, I am sorry to hear that. Perhaps you should not shut yourself up so much. You're right, but what can I do? How about biking? I don't have a bike. You can hire a bike and take a day ride somewhere. Where can I go? There's a beautiful man-made lake nearby, Rutland Water. How interesting. You should get a map and follow the cycling tracks. Really? From the shoreline, you can enjoy a wonderful panorama. I'll take some pictures then. However, first of all, you should be careful cycling on the rocks. Yes. It is important to wear your helmet all the time. Last of all, don't forget to take some drinking water with you. Yes, thank you, Dr. Fraser. How kind of you. Do you want me to prepare some sandwiches? Do you prefer ham or cheese? Uh, I'm not coming with you. I'm a married man, Felicity. Oh, I did not mean that. I have a friend who'll come with me, Georgina. She loves biking. My dear Felicity, I am so glad you followed my advice. Are you talking about my holiday in Brazil? Sure. What else? Yes. It must have been an unforgettable experience. Unforgettable, yes. You don't seem very happy. Is there something the matter? Well, I can't say what I saw made me happy. What do you mean? In Brazil, there are lots of environmental problems. Pollution is just one of them. Uh-huh. In Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo, you can hardly breathe with all the smog. Maybe you are exaggerating. Did you visit other parts of the country? Right. I forgot to mention the deforestation of the Amazonian rainforests. Um, 
Our tour guide told us that there are many endangered species due to the greenhouse effect. Felicity, you are right. But you must not forget all the efforts taken to save our planet. Seems to me there's not much to save. You can't say that. We are doing a lot to protect endangered species, make use of renewable forms of energy, tackle climate change. It's all right for you if you believe in all of this. Felicity, I am so sorry. So am I. No, I am sorry because next time I will suggest something less expensive. What about a walk in the city center? With all those exhaust fumes? <gasps>
I rarely go. You mentioned your boss. What can you tell me about him? Her. She's a woman. We have quite a good rapport. I enjoy working for her. She's hardworking, but demanding. Actually, she can be a bit of a dictator at times. Sounds like someone I know. Really? Who? Oh, my wife, Miranda. She's a lawyer, too. Oh, my God. We're talking about the same person. Linda, nice to see you again. Nice to see you, too. What seems to be the matter? Something terrible happened last night. Really? What? I had a frightening dream. No, a nightmare. A terrifying nightmare. Tell me about it. To start with, I was in my office. Yes, but what happened? There was... Linda, if you don't tell me what happened, I can't help you. Okay. There was a huge, really huge, terrifying black spider. Uh-huh. Is that clear? A huge S-P-I-D-E-R right on my desk. But the most significant aspect was that it was waiting for me. Maybe it was just there by chance? No. It was waiting for me, the scary thing. What's more, my boss, Miranda, you know, was there too. Miranda? Well, that was good. I wouldn't say so. She was calm and relaxed. Are you with me? Sure. Perhaps I should mention that the thing, the spider, was on a very important document. So I certainly could not squash it. Okay so far? Yes. And then? Then it just disappeared. What does that dream mean? The first obvious aspect of this dream is that the spider was large and black. Something which occupies your mind. You think so? I think this nightmare is related to the opening of the new office in Glasgow. It is going to be a very demanding job, right? Yes, it is. If you want to have sweet dreams again, I think you should start thinking positively about it. Dr. Fraser, I feel so relieved. Thank you. Thank you so much. How are you today, John? Fine, thank you. Today I would like to know about the place you live in. I'm afraid there's not much to say. I live in a studio flat. What do you know about Feng Shui? I don't know much about it. Feng Shui is an ancient Chinese belief. According to it, the layout of your house, how you arrange objects in it, influences your success, your health, your happiness. That makes sense. I feel very strongly influenced by the objects that surround me. If you don't mind, I would like to ask you about those objects. The furniture in my flat is very simple and basic. I like essential design. The only fancy piece of furniture is a Baroque table where I keep my makeup products, creams, foundation, eyeshadows, face powder, mascara, lipstick, things like that. Makeup products? Yes. You know, I'm a hairdresser and a makeup artist. My friends Lily and Brenda come to my place over the weekend. They always want my help for a hairdo and some makeup. I love doing that. It's my favorite pastime.
What seems to be the problem, John? Er, uh, I don't know how to say it. Do you like shopping? Shopping? Not much. I prefer staying at home watching TV. Lucky you. My problem is that I'm obsessed with shopping. I see. Whenever I feel alone or depressed, I go out and I cannot resist the urge to purchase something. Okay. My wardrobe is full of clothes I never wear. Some of them still have the price tag attached. Maybe we could exchange wardrobes. My friends say I'm crazy. Maybe they're right. My credit card is up to the limit. What can I do, Dr. Fraser? Ray? We can work this problem out. I hope so. There are many kinds of addictive behaviors. You could be defined as a shopaholic. A shopaholic? Yes. A shopaholic is one who suffers from compulsive shopping addiction. I understand. Let me give you a few suggestions. Okay. First, pay your purchases in cash and leave your credit cards at home. I understand. And when you go out, make a shopping list and buy only what is on the list. Okay. And avoid discount warehouses. Ah. Finally, when you feel the urge to buy something, do some physical exercise instead. Right. This is going to be hard at first, but I am certain that you'll feel better in no time. Oh, Ray, thank you so much. Well, you've told me about your immediate family. Today, I'd like you to tell me about the rest of your family. Grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins. Do you want to know about my brothers and sisters? No. You're an only child, John. Just checking your memory. <laughs> right. Well, what can you tell me about your family? Well, let's see now. My family. We have a tradition of hairdressers in my family. My grandfather on my mother's side of the family was a hairdresser. My uncle Lam, my mother's brother, is a hairdresser. I'm a hairdresser. Oh, and my father's cousin, Wendy, is a hairdresser. What a lot of hairdressers. Yep. All hairdressers. Do you get on with your uncle? Yes. We get on like a house on fire. He's like the older brother I never had. And what can you tell me about your grandfather? Oh, he died a few years ago. He was very affectionate and loyal to his family. You know, he met my grandmother when they were teenagers. And they were inseparable from that day on. She was his lifelong companion. Nice that. Yes. It's hard to find a well-matched couple nowadays. And what about your stepfather? My stepfather? Your mother's husband. Oh, I don't think of him as a stepfather. I just call him Donald or Don. What can you tell me about Donald? He's a hairdresser too. Oh. Like I said, all hairdressers. <laughs> Now, if you ever need a haircut, you know who to call. <laughs>